Hi guys, good morning. This is Mara Tunjing. So, as for everyone, um, information, I'm also using a Xiaomi Pocophone F1. I've been using it for a couple of months now. It was great. Um, it can handle all the tasks that I need. Uh, rendering videos, editing, um, playing games on full settings and even doing 4k videos which is really great and has a very good camera mm -hmm. but uh, as for those who doesn't know Pocophone has a problem with the ghost touch so at first I didn't actually experience the ghost touch myself but lately after a few updates I've started encountering it normally here here and here so whenever I type something or whenever I play games um, it either shuts off the keyboard or you know mess up the whole grammar itself or kind of bugs when you're playing games so quite a bummer so I was looking online and trying to look for you know ways to try and solve it but to no avail I didn't find any any helpful solution although I tried a couple of steps but none of them actually helps so I was kind of playing around in my poker phone and I actually discovered it seems that it's a calibration tool but it's not included in the manual it's not even posted online nobody tells that it's there it's hidden you just need to do something to open it up so what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you guys how I found it, how I calibrated it, and I'll show you later on that at this point, there's no more ghost touch happening on my Pocophone, Xiaomi Pocophone F1. So let's get started. So first, um, I went to settings, and then I went to about phone. Okay, so here, we need to look for the kernel version. This one? Yep, see it? And you need to press it about five times. Okay, now I don't know what CIT means, but I think it's calibration test or what? So here you'll find the touch sensor. Okay, it's gonna show you a grid. So I guess what you have to do here is complete this grid to calibrate the test. So what you just need to do is so something like that. All right. And then do it something like this. And this. And another one here is additional tools. Um, so this is kind of like a calibration tool now. So I went to touch sensor and just oh boy there we go okay so normally i think it's gonna try to register what what the touch sensor really is so as you can see here none is showing up here here and here where the ghost touch usually appears okay so that's two of them now i'm just gonna go back brown fox jumps jumps over okay so previously uh before i could even finish up the second word the cursor will jump right to this spot because that is where the ghost touch really shows up and but as you can see i was able to finish up the sentence without that even happening so i guess it really made an improvement on my pokephone so next i'll be showing you um a multi-touch test and let's see and there you go as you can see no more ghost touch 
so that's it for me and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video okay take it easy bye